Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Once you have your image pulled up, the first thing I want you to do is to duplicate the layer. Next, we're going to create a brand new layer and fill it with solid black color. Right click and convert to a smart object for non-destructive editing. Now, go to filter and select add noise from the noise menu. With Gaussian and monochromatic selected, I'm going to choose an amount of around 200% noise. Since the noise is too dense, I'm going to choose the rectangle marquee tool to select a small sample and then use command J to copy over the sample into a brand new layer. Actually, let's get rid of the color fill layer because we don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to transform and resize my noise sample so it completely covers my background image. I'm also going to rename this layer as Rain in Foreground. Next, change the blending mode to screen. We should also apply the curves adjustment layer to clean up the noise a bit. Just drag the black slider towards the center and click on the clipping mask so only the rain layer is affected. Also convert the rain layer to a smart object so we can start applying some filters. From the top menu, click on filter and then select motion blur from the blur dropdown. From this dialog box, you can control the angle of the rain and the length of the raindrops. I'm going to leave the angle to 90 degrees and choose a distance of around 70. Now you can play around with the opacity to control the intensity of the rain to your liking. If you want to go one step further and add blurred rain to the background, select the curves and the foreground rain layers and duplicate them. I'm also going to rename the duplicated rain layer to rain in background. Next, I'm going to transform and resize my background layer so the raindrops become smaller and they only cover the blurred background. To apply the blur effect, select Filter, Blur, and click on Gaussian Blur. Choose a radius of around four pixel and then hit OK. If you look closely now, you'll notice the blurred rain is appearing in front of the model and the umbrella. To get rid of it, let's click on the layer with the model in it and then click on the quick selection tool and hit select subject. Now click on inverse from the select menu. With everything in our image selected except our model, I'm going to select my background rain layer and then click on add layer mask. That should remove the blurred rain from my model. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.